Hey, what's up, guys? This is Bodhi. I would like to thank you for a very successful first 11 articles that I've written for World of Ming. Uh, there have definitely been some very good feedback, uh, both you know, positive and negative. Um, honestly, I'm going to be sticking with what's working. I've been experimenting you know, here and there, see you know, what people like, what people don't like, um, to make sure that I give quality content to you. So. Uh, I think I've been successful in that, and I see what works better than others. Um, I know not never to use the word axiomatic in, in a sentence ever again, or if at least I'm going to do it at least uh, I do it in a, in a much more smooth fashion. Um, but again, thank you for the feedback, and it was really cool. I'm, I'm really enjoying this gig. It's, uh, it's really fun getting active in the comments with you guys. Um, you know, sometimes I could be a little feisty. Uh, that's just the way I am. Uh, you know, but I'm also very chill too. Um, and it's just really amazing to you know put something out there and just to hear what you all think about it. And you know, some of it, you know, is just trolling, obviously. You know, and sometimes I get trolled. Hell, sometimes I troll my own posts. You know. Uh, you, you, you know how it is. You're bored. You're doing whatever, and I'm like, "Hey, look, I got comments. Okay, well, I'm going to respond to them." And you know, sometimes you know, you get you don't get necessarily angry because none of this stuff is serious business. But you know, you do want to protect yourself from unjustified criticism, and I take criticism very well. In fact, Happy Men he gave me a really, really, really in depth analysis of you know my writing and criticism and everything like that. And I thought that was like the most amazing thing um, that anyone's ever commented on. And it was a negative comment, um, but you know I could see his point and where he's coming from. And you know, you have other people, you know, who just kind of flip-flop, you know. They're like, oh, you know, one minute they love you, and the next minute, you know, they're comparing you to Jazzy. Um, honestly, I, I would like to address uh, something really quickly. It seems as though World of Ming uh, or, and readers of Game Riot in general, they're looking for the new Jazzy. It's like they're looking for a new person to bash as though he's Jazzy, and it's like, you know, you're desperately looking for it. You need that, you know, that negativity. You need to feed off of it. And, you know, I can understand that, you know, I mean, we like to hate sometimes, and that's cool. And, yeah, hell, I like to hate on people too sometimes. But it's like, it, it's interesting when you watch Vance's article, like, he could barely break, like, 40 likes or something like that, and he starts talking about Aeon and PvE and stuff like that, and then everyone's like, oh, man, you're the new Jazzy, you're the new Jazzy, you know, and all this other stuff. And then he writes an article and gets, like, you know, 320 likes. And then the very next article, the jazzy comparisons start again. So uh, I've, I've just learned not to even take that seriously. I mean, really, none of us is jazzy. None, none of us will ever be jazzy. Like, none of us will, like, write. I mean, come on. At the, at the top of his game, when jazzy was very passionate about writing about the subject, honestly, he's a good writer. He is, straight up. But when you're writing about a subject that you really don't care about anymore, then your, your writing quality is going to suffer. And that's what happened in this case. And... You know, I've said it before in the comments, but if I ever get to the point where I'm not passionate for the game anymore, or I'm not passionate about what I'm writing about, then I'm just going to quit. Like, I'm going to stop. Like, I'm not going to, you know, emo quit or anything like that. You know, I'm not going to quit because trolls, you know, are on my, you know, dick all the time. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. The, I'll quit simply because I know that I won't be able to, to create good content for you guys. And really, that's what it comes down to. Um... Uh, on the other new bloggers, like I love Zelia's uh, blogs, I love Azio's blogs, they do very, very well. Um, Ming, minus all the Naruto references, does really, really well. So um, I, I really like, I really call myself privileged to be on this staff, and it's just, it's just really amazing. Um, but I've talked for, for four minutes about this, so I'm going to move on now to um, my arena experiences over the past uh, two weeks. Since my Firecleave video, um, I've managed to gain about 250 rating or so. Um, I'm sitting at I'm sitting at 2200, and we've run into some pretty frustrating uh, scenarios over the past couple of weeks. Uh, like last week, if you looked at my armory, I only played like 11 games and only won four of them. Uh, and which is just terrible. And you know we're running we're running into teams. You know like we ran into Twix three v three. This week we ran into Sean Connery's w WLD, and we're just playing on a level that I simply have never played on before. Um, and my my partner Mike uh, Vidra, uh, who's uh, playing our Druid, he says it's the comp. 
and he says, you know, Bodhi, you know, like you're good and everything, but honestly, it's the comp. This comp won't work. Um, you know, it works really well with an enhancement shaman, so maybe we should do that. I'm like, okay, that's cool. If you want to see something funny, look at my look at my armory right now. Like I'm enhancement spec, uh, but I'm half in, pure, in elemental gear still. Like I have like the furious pants that I got from from Emilon, like five or six weeks weeks ago, and I have like the deadly chest and the rest of it minus my trinkets are is elemental gear. It's pretty terrible, you know. So I'm gearing that up, you know, and we're gonna try that. I mean, because that's what it comes down to. You just gotta try it out. And, I mean, I know that Enhancement Shaman, Hunter, Druid work, works really well. Um, I knew that Hunter, Elemental Shaman, Paladin works really well, too. But it seems as though, I mean, we're running into a lot of uh, cleave teams. And one thing that I learned the hard way is that there's a huge difference between, like, a cleave team and then a cleave team with 2350 weapons. It's like, you know, like, they, they'll just sit on me all day long, and I really can't do shit about it. You know, I can knock them backward, you know, and then what happens? Like, the warrior char charges back right back to me, or intercepts, or, you know, does whatever. Uh, a DK, I can usually avoid the death grip, but he's like, oh, whatever, chains of ice, and just runs up to me. You know, I really can't do much about it. Um, I can root them in place and get out of melee range for a little bit, but I'm still ridiculously slowed, and that route doesn't last very long at all. So... And, uh, and I usually try to drop a Fire Nova Totem, like, right afterwards, so that, like, you know, you get the root in conjunction with the two-second stun, and it buys me a uh, time. And I can do that. Um, you know, other times I can knock them back. I try to knock them over um, Sleeky's traps so that, you know, there's a chance that they get um, get entrapped or whatever. And, you know, that seems to work. Although, recently, we've been playing with Sleeky as marksmen, and uh, we really like that a lot more. So... I mean, really, it's just, you know, me learning to have to step up my game, you know, whatever. I'm not the best shaman, but it's just really fun playing at a level that I've never played at before. And, you know, just like, you know, seeing like recognizable names and be like, oh, man, those people are you famous and then get wrecked. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, like, it's, it's still all in good fun, though. You know, like, I mean, I feel like I can hang. It's just, you know, a matter of it's a matter of adjusting. Um, PTR has been pretty fun, uh, you know, playing with the new show, Wrestle Shaman changes has been amazing, and, you know, even with the slight resilience nerf, it's been, it's been pretty chill, you know, like, it's not, playing Resto isn't nearly as, you know, like, uh, how, how did that one Shaman put it? Gouging your eyes out? Yeah, it's not like playing that anymore. Um, rogues, like, are actually easily beatable again, like TBC style, you know, they just do less damage to you, and, like, I, I'm almost at resilience cap uh, in my resto PvP set, so, you know, I just wear that, and it becomes really easy, and you can tank, like, really well, and melee can't really stick on you, with the exception of a warrior, um, because, you know, they're, they're constantly charging you and constantly intercepting you, uh, however many seconds, I'm not sure how many, um, what the cooldown on that is, but I find generally warriors still don't have, a tro have any trouble sticking on me, uh, but... If you can strategically find a way to, um, you know, while both of their things are on cooldown, then, you know, they're easy to leave behind as well. So, even then, and see, it's even more powerful if you're elemental spec. Um, I feel that the Ghost Wolf change definitely affects elemental a little bit more than Resto. Uh, because the, the, set, the problem that I mentioned earlier with cleave teams, you simply don't have that. You drop an Earthbind, you would drop an Earthbind totem and you just run away. Alright, cool. You know, there's your melee problem solved. So, PTR is really fun. Um, there's a lot of PvE stuff, you know, that my girlfriend would be more into, but honestly, I'm not. It's not my thing. Um, I'm pretty sure Vance will talk about it at some point. Um, yeah, it's just been amazing, and, like, it's been an amazing, well, how long am I doing this? Like, six weeks of uh, writing for you guys, and, you know, thank you. I've gotten, you know, at least 100 likes on everything that I've written, and it's just... It's just amazing, everything, guys. So, th again, thank you for the feedback, and um, we'll continue doing this little dance that we do, and I have some pretty cool things planned for BlizzCon. I'll catch you later.